Hey everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to continue with um, Hannah Lynn and the Waiting for Wendy from Storybook Princesses, uh, sorry, from Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings. So, and we are using the Faber Castell Polychromos for these. Oh, we would be. That's the first time I've actually ever had one break on me. Let me just try that again. There we go. So how have you been? We are, well, we're okay. I, I mean, I wanted to try and do this before, but um, let's just adjust this a bit and move it around so I can get in nice and tight. That's better. Um, I couldn't do it before because um, I wanted to do it like last week but unfortunately um, last Friday Jennifer had her first set of inoculations so last week, last Friday when I was doing it she was very grumpy so I couldn't do anything because she was she just wanted to cuddle me and lean on me or all night and, uh, and all day since we got back and then every time I moved her she would literally start crying you know even if she was out she'd wake up start crying she just was not happy because um, obviously they give them three injections and some drops for the first set which is a lot for a little for a little person and uh, she was not happy. She also wasn't happy when I took the tape off her legs because they put a bit of cotton wool on to mop up any blood from the injection site and uh, so she wasn't very happy when I pulled that off. Obviously I did it as gently as I could and I even I even did it in the bath so it, it soaked off a bit but oh she screamed and it broke my heart. It, it's just horrible when they do that and I've missed a bit of green there. I can't even remember which greens I was I used. This one, I think. Da, da, da. And then that one. So she was not happy. Um, after having had her shots, so and then I just got really busy again so you know Paul was off obviously on the weekend because he works in office and then he had a couple of days off so it's very hard to do any filming when Paul's here um, we went out on Tuesday to Newport you may have seen the vlog the Newport vlog uh, so there was that. So I just haven't had time to really colour much. I did start colouring in um, a couple of other books and I just haven't had time to finish those pictures because every time I start doing something, little peanut wants some attention. And of course she's got to come first. So I mean at the moment she's asleep. She's not long been fed and changed. So she should be good for a bit. And if she's not, it's fine. I can just put this on pause and carry on and Go find her, sort her out. Well, go find her. She's over in the corner. I know exactly where she is. Makes it sound like I don't know where she is. She's asleep in a Moses basket. Uh, Paul's out tonight. He's gone out for a, a pint with his mates. He won't be late. He'll be back probably about half eight, nine ish. But um, it gives me a chance to just catch up on uh, my videos, whether they be in, be my booktube videos. So my wrap-ups, my hauls and some reviews if I want to do them or oh, colouring, oh, I've been filming my vinyl collection video that somebody wanted me to do so I've got one more to do on that because I've done the 7 inch singles and EPs I've done the 10, 12 inch singles and EPs I've just got to do the albums I'm currently cleaning my albums so but last night I was I was filming the first episode of that 
and she started crying. I was working on singles. Um, I was quiet to start with and, and Paul was here with her so she was alright, she didn't need me because Paul was here and then she got louder and louder so I had to stop doing, what, doing it just to see what was going on. <laughs> she was a little bit hungry, as soon as she saw me she stopped so she wanted me as well and that's fine, you know I'm mummy so she wants me but it was worth it because the, the next day, not next day that, but that, you know one of the days this week I brought her down and she was asleep in her basket and I made a bottle and I came in and I could hear her snuffling around and waking up basically. So I looked over the, peered over the edge of the basket and um, as I was looking at her she opened her eyes and she gave me the biggest smile and uh, it was very sweet. It was a beautiful smile, I'll never forget that. It's the first time she's opened her eyes and smiled straight away after seeing her mummy. So that's really sweet. So, so yeah, it's been a bit manic. I mean, I don't get to read as much as I used to, though. That is improving slightly. Um, I do listen to an audiobook if I'm feeding her at night. I don't like... I mean, I like to talk to her. So if I put something on in the background, it's fine. But I don't like to put the TV on at night because it wakes her up. And she does like looking at the TV, she loves watching it and seeing what's going on, you know, she's fascinated by it. But, uh, yeah. So, a little bit more done, it's going to take a while. Um, so that was that, so... That's... One of those things, really. She's... Sometimes just wants mummy. Doesn't matter if daddy's there. It's got, sometimes it's just got to be mum. So as you saw, if you watched it, and I know not everybody watches all the videos, and some of you might not want to watch stuff that's not colouring related or book related. But the... Um, the vlog you saw I bought some some records I am a big record person I love records I love vinyl um, I love CDs I like it's like with this it's a book I can hold I like tangibility I like I know people say oh you don't need it you can stream music you can hold me you know you can put it on your listen to it on your phone I really don't like doing that I'm kind of old school I know a lot of youngsters these days are getting in, are into vinyl, which is great. But uh, I know a lot of people don't like it either. Like they have these minimalist houses with nothing in them, and I can't bear that. To me, a house is a home only if you make it your own, and if it's, you know, almost minimalist and sterile, it's not really a home, is it? It's not very comfortable. It doesn't feel comfortable. Some people, I guess like it and that's fine but it's not for everybody and I like to have things around if, if you watch any of the book videos filmed in the front room which is where I'm filming at the moment just simply because it's just too much hassle to keep carrying peanut Jennifer upstairs into the book room find somewhere for her to settle down in said book room and then do the the filming. It's just easier. Oh, I just dropped my sharpener on the floor. It is just easier to um, have her downstairs and film down there. But if you listen to it, the acoustics are not great in this room or in the front part of the room because there's a lot of echo, and that's because there's not much in that room. The way the room's set out is yes there are some books in there um, and there are some there's loads of DVDs but it's set back so you get a lot of echo and I think that echoing makes a room sound cold 
So I don't know why I'm doing the fiddly bit. I could do this off camera really. Yeah, I might do. But I'm doing it now, so. So we've got um, a lot of videos to come. I've got a lot of them that are already ready, if that makes sense. They're ready to go. They are literally in the um, on the hard drive of the computer. They're waiting to be uploaded, which is great because I could just upload one then. And it might be just a flip through of a colouring book or it might be like I said the, the vinyl video. Um, there, there then. Um, I do want the vinyl ones done and dusted and up by the 21st of April because that is uh, the, the date of the CD and record fair in Newport. It's also record store day. Uh, what I thought I'd do with the records is because my friend likes to see the records I've got. I get my collection up then anything I buy at the record fair I can do like a haul like we do the colouring supplies haul, I do book hauls and then after that one the next fair is in August and so I could save up all the books, sorry, all the books, all the records I buy between April 21st and August the 4th, which is the next record store day, or the next record day, um, fair day, I can't even speak today, um, and I can do like um, a record haul after I get that. That That's the idea, is to, to do something like that now. I'm just trying to do, I'm not doing very well with this, these little flowers here. And I think I'll do the windows. So yeah, I mean I like, I love music. I mean my friend George who is the guy that asked me to do the whole, the, the record collection. He collects records and he collects, he's only 15 and he collects, he's a Facebook friend because um, he's a Marilyn fan as well. Really old records, you know we're talking about Frank Sinatra, Doris Day, Barbara Streisand. He loves Barbara Streisand. And, and I like those old records as well, but most of my records are from when I was buying records back in the 80s. And it does make me laugh when people, somebody said, I got into vinyl just before, just after it got big again, and I'm like, oh, just after it became really big. And I'm like, honey, vinyl was really big back in the 80s because it's all we had. <laughs> You know, it was just before the CDs took over. There are some things they make me laugh. Vinyl community. So yes, like we have Colour Tube and Book Tube. There's the VC, which is the vinyl community. And there's some great, great um, YouTubers on there uh, that I like. That I have discovered there's um, Channel 33 RPM, Frank Landry. He is mostly rock and metal, but there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, there's Vinyl Eyes, he's a young man living in California. There's Mean Mr. Mayo. There's Rossi1973, who's a big Elvis fan, so a lot of his are Elvis related. Not all, because he does he collects other vinyls as well. There's Matt Hayes, who uh, lives in California, but he's from the UK, so he's quite quite fun. They're all good. And they're, they're a lot more than that. I mean, they're the ones I can think of off, off the top of my head. There's more than that. But uh, like I said, I've only just, the last week or so started uh, watching them. So Jennifer's fine. She was weighed on Monday at the health centre. She weighed 12 pounds and 11 ounces. So she's putting on the weight. She's good. That she, apparently she's exactly where she should be um, on the chart, which is great. She's sleeping most of the night now. Not all night, but she is sleeping most of the night. So for instance, if I go about half eleven um, or half, say half ten, she might wake up at half past three or half past four. 
and then she'll sleep through till eight or nine o'clock the other day i uh i fed her about five yeah, something like that. And she went back to sleep pretty much straight away. And then I heard her snuffling around about half seven, eight, quarter to eight. Paul was getting ready for it. I thought, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to go and make her some food. I'm shattered. Um, uh, I dozed back off and so did she. And when we woke up, when I woke up, it was 11 o'clock and she was still out. She was out for the count still. And so it was great because I just came down Put the kettle on, I made myself a cup of tea, I made her milk, bottle up. And then while that was cooling down, I went up and I got her, brought her down and she started waking up then and, and you know, that was pretty cool because it, it, she didn't have to scream. There's nothing worse than when she screams for food because it's not like we're not making it, it's just it takes a while to cool down. So yeah, it was great yesterday, when, well the other day when she did it, because I don't know when this is going up, but... So she really, really was good and she was quite happy that she didn't have to wait for her food when she was hungry. It was just ready there for her. Nice. No, I don't plan my colour palette, so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I ain't got a clue what I'm doing next. Really have no idea. So I'm just going to colour in these little stars. I don't know if I'm. Yeah, you can see them. So I'm currently reading um, Stephen King's The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon as part of the Stephen King Readathon. Um, which is good. I'm enjoying that. It's a really, really good uh, book. The girl who loved Tom Gordon. Yeah, very much so enjoying that. And uh, yeah, it is. It's very, oops, very good. Um, like I said, I mean, I've actually read four books this month if you include the audiobook I listened to or finished listening to this month and I do count those on my Goodreads so they do count so last month I only read four books in total so this month I've read four already and I'm halfway through book five and I'm halfway through another audiobook which is great so it's just a matter of I read when I get a chance, it's not very often these days, usually I'm reading while I'm waiting for her bottle to cool down at night or if she's asleep and I'm not doing anything else I might pick up the book and read for five or ten minutes. To be fair one of those books was one I had to review so I had to read it so, but the review's done and up so. I'm not buying as many books at the moment because I've just got so, so many on my shelves to read that I just can't get through them. It's, it's, I missed a load of flowers. I'm gonna get that in a minute and carry on with them. It's hard. It really is sometimes quite hard to have time to read when you're looking after a young baby. It's just the way it is, unfortunately. Uh, or not because you know I love her very much and I love looking after her and and, uh, and sometimes I, if she's quiet I get to read and if she's not I don't. I also take a book to the hairdressers because I have my hair done every six weeks so I did take a book to the hairdressers and I get a good good 40 minutes of reading done well three, 30 to 40 minutes while my hair's been, the hair dye's taken. So I have my hair dyed. If I didn't, I'd be grey. And I know that for a fact, so. But that's okay too. Oh, is that one? Just to finish off these little flowers. 
but uh, yeah, so we get in slowly back to normal. I do get very tired in the afternoon and I think that's just because I'm not sleeping properly at night because it might take her an hour to feed and settle down but it'll take me and there may be another half an hour to get off so while well, she may be only awake for like an hour I'm, I'm away for maybe two two and a half so the sleeping in in the morning is great though I can't do it every day obviously I want to get to the record store on record store day see if there's anything I want to purchase I might not I might do it really really depends now what colour do I want I wanted to do the bunny I wanted the bunny pink I have this one But yeah, so when it's record store day, we'll be going to the record fair. Um, we'll pop to Diverse Vinyl to see how it's going on in there. That's a place in in Newport that uh, sells obviously vinyl. And there's a couple of other places in the indoor market that sell vinyl. There's um, Troutmark. They don't sell as much as they used to. I can remember when they used to have walls of it. And then there's um, a store called Criminal Records, which has great CDs. The CDs are a bit pricey, I think, but the records are, are normal, are, are quite a good price. So, yeah, they, they're a good place. They're a good place to go, Criminal Records. I was looking at them and I was thinking, oh, this is quite reasonable, actually. So I might get some from this in between, you know, when it's not the record fair. I've got to be careful with money now because I will be going on to very low pay, nil pay and stuff before long because of course I'm not at work. So, but obviously I will be going back to work at some point, but that'll be in the new year. So it's great. I don't want to go back, but I will because it'll do me good. So my sister is coming, supposed to be coming over on Monday to my mum and dad's. So I'll take Jennifer down there to meet her auntie Heather. We don't know what time yet, but um, Heather lives in uh, Suffolk. <laughs> but her kids and grandchildren, they live in Bristol. So she'll be visiting them and then catching the train to Cardiff and then a Cardiff train to Risca because uh, that's the way you do it um, it's very well sorry I just kicked it again I'm always doing that I know but, uh, I'm just gonna do his ears just put a little bit under there in a different color and his nose there that. And I want to use this light. This one. So, yeah, we're into the fiddly bits now. That's the only thing. So, this is a flash one, is it? Cinnamon. Right. Just going to do. So I don't think I'm going to actually finish this one on camera. I mean, I'm 24 minutes in and we've hardly touched it. So I think probably what will happen is I will probably finish this off camera. Um, just because otherwise I'm going to be here forever doing it. I do like this, this book though. It's a really nice one. But it is very, very detailed. There's a lot of detail on it. Mm. 
Okay, we've got the teddy bear and the dolls and the, the bunny and then there's the building box, the rug, the floor. So yeah, it'd be nice to see my sister Heather and it'd be nice for her to see Jennifer. Um, and then my sister-in-law Claire is coming over. Hi Claire, if you're watching, I know you watch these sometimes and you think it's bizarre, but I know you watch them. <laughs> um, she's coming over soon. Got a visit from New Zealand with her daughter Lydia, my niece. So Claire can't wait to meet Jennifer either, so be nice. Lovely. So, yeah, I have had a few nights where I haven't slept very well, and not because of Jennifer. It's not her fault either. This time, I um, the other night I couldn't get back to sleep. Uh, I had to put her down, and she went off pretty quickly, pretty much straight away. But me, I was I, even though I was really tired, I just could not get off to sleep, and I felt terrible all day. I really felt bad. I felt like I'd been, you know, I was so tired, I just felt awful and I just, I just wanted to sleep all day, it was terrible. So, yeah, there you go, it is what it is. I, I, I mean I was so tired that I went to make a piece of toast and the toast popped out, I had the butter there and I went to butter the plate. The toast was in the toaster, I went to butter the plate so that's not good. That's how tired I was so. And I, I feel tired now even though I slept really well and she slept really well. But uh, you do have, sometimes it is quite difficult to get to sleep back to sleep after a while I gotta be honest so <sighs> so yeah it is hard like I said it's I find it very difficult to colour pictures sometimes it, it can get very hard because of uh, having to stop every time she cries. I mean, at the moment she's very quiet, she's asleep. She's happy. She's in the sleeping position. I don't know what that is. Something just beat. Oh, I think it's the computer. Oh, it's the computer's just restarted, which is not good because I had a video uploaded, which means I'm going to have to go and restart all that. I don't know why it does that. It's a pain in the bum. That's what I tend to do is when I'm doing the making videos, I upload videos because I can't... watch YouTube and upload to YouTube at the same time, and I like to be uploading. So once this is reset, I'll sort it out again. So yeah, it's very difficult. So there's a lot going on. I mean, the theatre will be doing their next sort of casting soon. I don't know if I'm going to bother. It's a lot of time when she's so, so young. I might wait another year till she's a bit older and then then do something. It's just because of her age. She's just so young. She needs me. I don't want to. So the camera stopped. I don't know when exactly it stopped. So I don't know what I was saying. I know I was talking about the theatre and that I might do something not this coming season, but the next one when she's a year old. 
um, just because I think she's a bit young for me to be out three nights a week or three days a week doing these uh, shows as much as I enjoy it it's not fair on her I don't know why the, the camera stops doing that every now and again. Did it at 30 minutes this time, so. I know approximately how much I've done. I mean, it doesn't mean say I won't have a look at them, the plays. I might go along to the readings. I, I, it's just a lot of effort and I'm so tired that I'm thinking, is it really worth me doing it when the chances of me actually committing to doing a performance, is it's pretty slim. You know, it just seems a waste of my time and their time, but... I don't know, we'll see. Oh! Little one's making some noises, so she might be waking up soon. She makes the funniest little noises in bed when she's asleep. She really does, it's so cute. Sometimes you end up thinking, what the hell's going on? And last night she was doing a lot of crying in her sleep. So she'd be sound asleep and then she'd let a little cry. And you'd look over at her and she'd be as sound asleep and you're like, you are so young, what can you possibly be crying about? What has frightened you? What, what, how, how can you possibly... Oh, no, that's wrong. Be having a bad dream. But she does. Something upsets her in her sleep. So I'll be finishing this soon because I'll need to go and sort her out soon. She may not cry. She may just want a bit of attention. <laughs> She might want food. She might need changing. It, it could be anything. But she's making some lovely noises now and she's um, like, she, like she's trying to, it's like she's trying to say something. And she's smiling very much and it's lovely. It does get a bit frustrating when you're in the middle of trying to do something and you have to stop. But that is just the way it is. There's that one. Right. Bless her. Mm -hmm. oh, that's it for me for today. I'm going to have to leave it there. If I can, um, I might come back to it in a minute. It depends on what she needs. So uh, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I am back now. She is awake. She's snuffling around, but she's all right. She's not not upset she will want feeding soon so I'm, I've got a just boiled the kettle for a bottle so I'll be sorting that out fairly shortly so I'm just gonna do a little bit more while I'm waiting for it to cool she's quiet she wanted the mummy cuddles really which is fine so I'll be stopping fairly shortly and I probably will finish this off camera now there's only a little bit to go and I want to get on to delicious desserts. Oh, there's lots of it to do still, so. I think we're only on about 39, 40 minutes maybe. I'm not sure anymore. I've lost track, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So I've enjoyed coloring this one. There's not, there's not a huge amount uh, of it to do. Um, but, they, I mean, it's just the fiddly bits, apart from the, um, you know, there are some fiddly bits and there's um, lots of fiddly bits, if that makes any sense at all. So, this book is done in this Hannah Lynn book. Now, I have heard that Colour in Heaven, which is a magazine here in the UK, they put out a monthly colouring book magazine 
with around 40 images. I've got a few of them. I've not coloured in any of them, but I have got a few. Terrible, I know. Ha are having a Hannah Lynn one next time, which I am really looking forward to because I think it's going to be fantastic. Now, oh, so I'm really looking forward to that because I like the Hannah Lynn pictures. Um, so I will be definitely getting that one when it comes out. I know I missed the last one because it's the anime and I'm not into anime. A lot of people are, and that's great, that's fine. Um, we're all different. It'd be boring if we all liked the same thing, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? So, I'm not into anime. But you might be, and that's fine. I'd still love to see any pictures that you might do that, that are anime. But it's just not what I like to colour. But when they do their Hannah Lynn one, I will be there in the queue purchasing a copy. Maybe even two. You never know. Definitely purchasing one. Because I've only got the two Hannah Lynn books. I've got the Christmas one and this one. Um, I do want to get the other ones, but I'm trying to save money now to... I've got to eke it through to when I go back to work in... January or at least December because December although I won't be at work I will be on my annual leave because over here in the UK you still accrue your annual leave even if you're on maternity leave so I will be uh, I'm currently accruing my annual leave so I will get that as well as uh, so December I will get some some money. It's only three months that I go without and that is just think, November, October, September, something like September, October, November. It's I don't know. I mean it's not like the States over here, we've got a pretty good maternity terms, even, you know. Everybody's entitled to a year off, although you might not be able to afford it because you're not paid for it. I wish I was going to turn the page around so I could just get to these little bits and I can see them properly because I'm using a very light grey. As you can hear she's making some gurgly noises so we will be going to make her food in a minute. Like I said the water's just cooling down. bit of green. It gets confusing sometimes you look at these things and you're like what is that? Is that part of the curtain? Is that part of the wall? Is it this? Is it that? And you just really don't know half the time and it's so because it's so detailed some of these pictures that you, you just wonder what we're doing. Well I'm actually going to leave it there for now. I'm going to finish this off camera. I've only got um, this picture to do in the corner and this bottom corner so the doll the bit of panel at the back and the rug so I'm gonna leave it like that and I'll finish that off off camera and you'll see it in my name is a banging around um colored pictures for April because I've done I've done three in one book uh, of the mandala so I probably will do it this month possibly because I've got four that I've done is it four? yeah four uh, so that's it for me I hope you've enjoyed this uh, color and chat and I will be back soon when we will do some delicious desserts. So I'll see you all then. Bye now.